Gulf Coast State College is giving future cops the chance to experience real life scenarios through virtual reality. The training program is called APEX and has been helping students since October of last year. As News 13's Jared Sellers tells us instructors can simulate all types of circumstances to challenge the students. You doing some drinking today, ma'am? I can see that. Why don't you go ahead and sit down for me? Gulf Coast Law Enforcement Academy students are getting a realist view of the type of view of the problems they'll see on the streets without actual dangers. They're doing it through a virtual reality system called Apex. Apex uh, system gives them you know, 20 different environments with thousands of, you know, different uh, scenarios that are based and stuff. You can do different characters, you can do different, um, you know, rooms within those environments. You can do diff uh, different incidents, you know, such as domestic violence, uh, mental health uh, situations, uh, somebody under a crisis situation. Um, you can do uh, public intoxication and you know, so on. Apex allows instructors to manage each scenario and change the circumstances depending on how students react. The hope is the students will follow the instructions they've learned previously during their coursework. I like to remind them that they're, to remain safe, they need to keep their reactionary gap. They need to keep that distance. They also need to maintain their tone and their language. Never to lie to the inmate. Always make eye contact. Use your communication skills the best you can. Try and keep things at the lowest possible key. This program is not just only helping students, but also police officers already on the job. Yeah. So we have, uh, we partnered up with the several agencies, um, and I will let those agencies speak about, you know, if they do it, but there are several agencies um, that have, you know, utilized this, you know, here, um, and we're willing to bring it to them you know, for them to, uh, you know, improve officer training and stuff. In Bay County, Jared Sellers, News 13, Panhandle Strong. Right now, only law enforcement and corrections officers are using the APEX program, but college officials say they want to make it available to other first responders in the very near future.